Armored Core Law, Raylian Arc. It is indeed rare to find a true end to one of these corporations, however history is made by those who are victorious, so the fate of Raylian Arc is all too real. History. Raylian Arc was the first company to develop super high density hydrogen alloy and utility pool cells, and also played an important role in development of the first generation of Kojima technology. These advancements were equipped to all armored type cores, thus giving them the critical advantage needed to crush nations in less than a month. After the National Dismantlement War, Ray and Lard would come to dominate Canada, their home base, and regions where their subsidiary, Akavidit, had interests including parts of Europe. They were the producer of a majority source of AC generators, and being the leader in the field of Kojima technology, they specialize almost exclusively in ACs in their military development. It also should be noted that Ray and Lard engineers were known for their ambitious designs and constant ability to think outside the box, unlike many other corporation engineering branches, whose designs could be considered primal in their looks. However, despite distributing next parts to a various of other corporations, Reynard is said to have kept its industry secrets tightly under wraps. The only part that may have been able to see these on records is such is Avocate, another corporation seen as being Reynard's closest working partner. In Armored Core 4, Reynard was working with Avocate to develop more powerful Kojima technology during this time. They were also attempting to break into the solid weapons manufacturing by aligning with GA Europe. However, these efforts, despite GA's enthusiasm for such an alliance, were constantly balked by GA America, who was skeptical of Ray Leonard's motivations and had interest in keeping them from diversifying, since it could result in a challenge to GA's control in the Greater Pacific Rim. However, not to be tied down by GA, the European branch decided to leave the much larger GA group for Avocate, taking their technology with them. Seeing this as a threat to their power and to show GA America would not be undermined, the corporation sent Anatolia's mercenary in to destroy prototype technology, including what appeared to be the sole Deus prototype on GA's units housed at the Hiji arsenal. This action resulted in GA and Ray Leonard declaring war on each other. However, Ray Leonard would linger in the background during the first phase of the Lynx War, allowing GA and BFF to battle one another in the first phase of the war, perhaps biding their time. It was only after BFF was essentially decapitated by GA, as seen in our previous report, that Ray Leonard moved to the forefront, where they launched an attack on Anatolia, perhaps to take out a mercenary they saw as a threat. The operation, however, failed, due to the intervention of Anatolia's mercenary, who swiftly eradicated the forces of normals and other war machines. This could be considered the first stumble of Ray Leonard's fall. In the next phase of the war, Ray Leonard and GA, along with its allies, the Rosenthal and Omar groups, would engage in numerous battles across the globe, which finally culminated in a one-on-one -on -one battle between Anatolia's mercenary and Anju, with the former emerging as the victor before finally Ray Leonard's last battle at the abandoned city. It is here that Ray Leonard would lose their elite squad of necks, putting them in such a weak state that Ray Leonard's Canadian HQ would be destroyed by Anatolia's mercenary mere days later putting the final nail in this corporation's coffin. It's Ray Leonard's headquarters, Exodil. This is the last one. Let's get to it. Exodil pillar successfully destroyed. The facility's balance has begun to falter. We're looking good. Continue removing the pillars. In Armored Core for Answer, although Ray Leonard was destroyed, their legacy would live on in the form of the CLOSE plan. The intent to destroy the orbiting assault cell satellites, therefore paving the way for humanity to migrate away from the poisoned Earth and into space. The plan was taken up by Maximilian Thermidor during the course of Armored Core for Answer. Additionally, Ofstar, the rank number of links, 
in for answer would claim that he originated from Le Lard, but during such a time words mean nothing and the only thing that remains now is his ashes. Yet thanks to records and personnel files there is confirmed survivor of Raylanar's destruction, who would come in the form of Shikia, who would rank 33 during the Lynx War and would later serve in Orca. It is interesting to note that after the company's collapse many of their engineers were recruited by Omer Science, who would later play a huge role in the League for their creative engineering and political power. Products Raylanard manufactured a variety of high energy powered parts for Nex over the course of his existence. Their impressive lineup of quick firing guns and blades maximizing attack power with the shortest possible delay, such as the 07 Moonlight and the 01 Hitman. Reading through old battle reports, it is clear that many normal and Nex operators note that any Nex produced by Raylanard seem to specialize in lightning fast movements across the battlefield. An example can be found in the Nex design known as Aliyah, which focused on high speed close range combat. Links employed by Raylanard. Abia, pilot of the Menemo, Mori. Current location is unknown, but presumed to be killed in action. Aju, pilot of Orleans and killed by Anatolia's mercenary. Bernals, pilot of supplies and killed by Anatolia's mercenary. Ostalia, pilot of stasis and killed by Strayed. Shakia, pilot of split moon and killed by Strayed. Zani, pilot of roughcut and killed by Anatolia's mercenary. It is clear from this report that this corporation did not get to see if their grand vision would come to be, but the real question we have to ask ourselves is was the closed plan a new path through humanity, or another dream of a power-hungry corporation who would have twisted to suit their own needs? This ends the report on the corporation known as Raylianard.